Okay, hello everyone. So today's topic is AC generator. So please remember, AC generator is a device which works on the principle of electromagnetic induction. So basically, what we do is flux depends on four things, you know, n, b, a, and theta. So in AC generator, basically we are changing theta, the angle between area vector and magnetic field to change magnetic flux. And if there is change in magnetic flux, so basically there will be induced EMF and induced current in the coil. So if you can see in this figure, we have North Pole, South Pole here, North Pole, South Pole here. Okay, so this is a coil over here. So if this coil will rotate in this magnetic field, so flux will increase, then decrease. Flux will increase, then decrease. So if there is change in magnetic flux, so basically there will be induced EMF and induced current in the circuit. So the voltage that will produce will be something like this. It will be something like this. So please remember that AC generator works on the principle of electromagnetic induction. It converts mechanical energy to electrical energy because we have to rotate this coil and this coil will rotate then current will current will be there and potential difference will be there. So we are providing mechanical energy which is getting converted to electrical energy. Also in which direction the current will flow will depend on Fleming's right hand rule. In India the frequency of AC is 50 Hertz and the potential difference is basically 220 volt. Okay, so you have to remember how an AC generator works. Okay, what is the working principle? What kind of energy you are supplying? What kind of energy it is producing? Okay, then we'll come to the numerical part. Then we'll come to the equations part. Okay, so you have to remember that an AC generator produces alternating voltage. Okay, and if you can see if this coil will rotate, if this coil will rotate, then there will be what? Then there will be, you can see, the coil is rotating, then there is induced EMF and induced current in the coil. So this is how AC generator produces AC voltage. Okay, now let's come to the equations part. Suppose magnetic flux of the coil is NBA cos theta and omega is theta by T. So omega is basically our angular velocity. So angle covered divided by time taken. So in the place of theta, I can write omega t. And EMF induced is basically minus d phi by dt. So if we differentiate this equation, then it will come out to be nba omega sine omega t. Now remember, the value of EMF will be maximum when value of sine theta will be maximum. And the maximum value of sine theta is 1. So maximum value of EMF is nba omega. So if someone asks you what will be the maximum EMF that can be generated with a coil, it's n b a omega where n is number of turns b is magnetic field a is area omega is angular velocity so we can also write the induced emf to be equal to e naught sine omega t but remember in the flux the angle is omega t while in emf the angle is sine omega t so the there is phase difference of pi by 2 between cos theta and sine theta so if someone asks you what will be the phase difference between magnetic flux and emf it will be pi by 2 for an AC generator. Okay.